Hi and um, welcome to Lincolnshire Fen Crafts needle felting tutorials. I am really excited to show you this super fast technique to making these um, needle felted balls. I know um, it's easier just to buy them because it seems to take such a long time to make but with this quick tip you can make a felted ball in three to four minutes. And the, the great thing is as well, all those little odds and ends, whatever colours they are, whatever type, you know, whether you're doing a monochrome or like a, a, a spring garland, which is what I've got here. Um, whatever scraps you've got, you can use up. So it's a really cost effective way of creating some really beautiful needle felted projects. And you only need about one, one and a half grams of wool for each felted ball. Depending on how big you want it, you can make them a, a lot bigger. But um, all the, and, and they're never going to be all perfectly round like the ones that you buy, but that's the whole point. These are handmade um, and they are so easy to do. And my secret weapon, believe it or not, is this barbecue stick. I know it's the felting tool you never realise you needed. So I'm going to show you very quickly how we can do these felt balls and then you can create these gorgeous um, sort of spring home decor pieces and the bumblebees as well are also done around the barbecue stick and there is actually another video on that the bumblebee tutorial so you can find that make sure you subscribe down below um, and then you'll receive notifications for all the the tutorials all right let's do this then so i've got this gorgeous um bright pink here and a barbecue stick and a standard felt needle that's a size 38 36 is just as good as well use quite um, a firm needle a good all-rounder because if you use the 40s which are a bit uh, more flexible they do tend to break quite easily if you hit the stick whereas if you've got the 38 or the 36 it's much less likely to happen I'll show you how to avoid that anyway okay so take your, your piece now this is wool top you can use carded wool whatever you have but I've got some wool top here out of my um, felt box and I'm just going to wrap this round. That's all I'm doing. I'm not using the needle. And it wants to be quite firm. Keep wrapping it round. And you see where my finger and thumb is there to stop it moving down the stick. Keep it going. So we've not touched that felting needle at all yet. And then just catch that end and wrap it in. So what you've got there is a little barrel shape. So you're already more than halfway there because it's quite firm so it saves a lot of the felting. And then you're just going to poke around with your needle just to secure it. Just turn it, keep turning, secure it. See I used to do the, the, um, the way I used to do it, would be, I would tie a knot in it. Um, but again, it's still quite time consuming and quite tricky to get that shape because you've got to turn it in different directions. And this just takes all the, the pain out of it. So you just end up with these really fast needle felted balls that are really firm. And like you say, really economical because you've, you've used up your, your scraps of wool. And felt balls are expensive. I think they're quite expensive. I mean, if you want perfection, then, you know, perfectly round, evenly shaped balls, then, you know, the bought ones are probably the, 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 the ones for you. But I'm not bothered whether things are even or not. I don't think it matters. Life isn't symmetrical and neither is needle felting ever. Turn it round and can you see how I'm going diagonally and I'm just shaping these ends. And you just see as well how I'm shaping it by pushing that needle down the side of that barbecue skewer so as not to hit it. So I'm not actually going from the top like this. I'm actually pushing down the sides when I go through that ball. And and because I'm not going at it really hard, then if I do catch the, the stick, I'm not going to break the needle. So 
And there we go. So that's that's pretty much it on there. Still a little bit overly shaped, but we're going to deal with that in a minute. So pull it off the pointy end, and you've got a couple little holes there that you can see. Or you just go through, turning and felting, and then you will just close up those holes. And you can also just, if you want to, because they might come in useful if you're making a garland, because you can just pop your needle through them. If you want to, you can just tease the wool over those little holes. And then just finally, to create that um, lovely round shape, you roll it around in your hand, cup, cup your hands and roll it. Give it a squidge, check the shape, roll it again if you want to. And this also smooths the outside so it makes it look really neat. And there you have one super fast and easy needle felted ball all ready for you to create all sorts of beautiful felted creations. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.